What's good, y'all? I'm here to talk about the buffs and changes I've made to Scyther in my ROM hack. Uh, but before I get into explaining Scyther itself, I will also briefly flash Scizor's changes, which will have their own video that you can check out after this one. Uh, and then Cleaver as well. So I'm flashing them on screen now so you can just pause and, you know, read the stuff, especially if you're a returning viewer and you know what all the moves do already and everything. You know, it's pretty easy to understand stuff. Um, this music is kind of quiet. Hold on, y'all. Let me just put that up a little bit. Uh, maybe it's fine. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the other two. And again, those will both have their own videos you can check out. Uh, this video is going to be about Scyther. Uh, before I want to get into explaining the ability choices, which, I mean, should be self-explanatory, but, you know, still explaining the implications of certain things. Uh, excuse me. Um, I want to have a quick disclaimer for any new viewers to pause the video and read the description. I've got a bullet point list explaining all of the basic, fundamental aspects of the ROM hack and the way I balance it. And then when you're done with this video, you can, again, check out all the other ones. I have videos for every single Pokemon. I have a Google Sheet link down below. I have a playlist explaining the hack more in depth. And most importantly, on that Google Sheet link down below, uh, I have a move guide where I cover every single move buff and change uh, in the game, um, all categorized in great detail for you to understand. So give those a look. It's very important to understand how all the Pokemon function now. Uh, with all that being said, though, Scyther. Um, so Scyther, I, I love all three of these guys, man. I love bug types, my favorite type. Um, I think I like Cleaver the most, but I'd say probably for me it's Cleaver, Scyther, and Scizor, but I love all three. They're all sick. Um, so yes, we have the, you know, coveted Sharpness Scyther, tons of people have always said that Scyther should have sharpness. I agree, um, I think it makes sense. In Vanilla, it's kind of underwhelming because it doesn't have very many moves for it. it. It literally only has like X as our slash, Night Slash, and it's like low-key it that's like worthwhile, worth using. Um, in this case though, they have tons of new options for sharpness and they also still have great options with Technician. So uh, sharpness and Technician make a really nice uh, offensive combo to switch between because in this ROM hack, all Pokemon are balanced to be switching between their abilities constantly. Um, you're supposed to be using the same Pokemon throughout your playthrough and then changing up their move sets, their EV spreads, and their uh, items and their moves and all that stuff like constantly uh, and their abilities. So in this case, no exception, right? So uh, Technician, I also gave them dual wing beat very early on, or relatively speaking, at level 50, which might seem late, but most Pokemon wouldn't get a move that strong. Like, it's a multi-hit move that is also very strong, um, which is like, you know, really good for breaking through focus, Ash and sturdy and all this other like anti-setup stuff. Um, so as you can see on screen, level 50 is legal for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like 20 boss fights out of like the 50 in the game. So, you know, little, like the last quarter of the game, maybe last third or so of the game, uh, you have access to uh, 135 base power dual wing beat, basically. It's, it's 50, 45 power per hit now. Uh, it's 90 power overall, 100% accurate. So very, very, very strong move technician. And that is good because uh, Scyther's flying stab options are pretty limited uh, flavor-wise because I don't want to give my, you know, it doesn't make any sense to learn shit like Brave Bird, obviously. And then there's a couple moves like Flying Tap High Jump Kick, which is, is called Dive Bomb, which is like, would be okay on them. Honestly, not even that good because you have to hold the wide lens anyway. Um, so your main thing is like acrobatics, right? Up until you get access to that. And wing attack is good because it means you can hold a, a Violite or some other item with it if you desperately need that flying stab. Uh, wing attack being, uh, is now 75 power, I believe. Let me just confirm. Yeah, 75 power now. So that's more than serviceable. It's obviously not winning any, any awards. It's not, not the strongest thing in the world. If you need a really strong, you know, 110 power flying move, then you, you slap on acrobatics. Uh, and then otherwise you're going to be, you know, a little bit lacking in flying step until level 50, which by the way, I'm, I'm telling you it's generous, man. Level 50 is gen uh, generous for dual wing beat. Uh, so I'm not going to, you know, it's still early as I've really put it probably. Um, like maybe I could do 45, but I don't know, man. It's fine. Um, the flying typing is also very useful defensively. So a lot of people give, you know, bug flying shit for being uh, on paper, like a bad type combo. But in an in-game context, uh, the bug flying has really, 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 really good strengths, uh, especially compared to the fact that this is a branched evolution, right? So you can pick between bug flying, bug steal, or bug rock. Uh, Scizor and Cleaver are both neutral to fighting. Scyther four times resist fighting. That is a huge difference. Um, resisting fighting, resisting, uh, being immune to ground. The other two are neutral to ground. Scyther's immune to ground. So two very, very common attacking types right there that you either four times resist or are immune to that the uh, other two options that you get from Scyther are neutral to, right? So it's definitely a big deal. Um, yes, it's weak to rock, but it's like, who the fuck? Like, Stealth rock isn't a factor in an in-game in in context. At most, maybe one boss fight in a game, maybe two out of like the 50 will abuse Stealth rock. And even then it's not difficult to uh, prevent the Stealth rock from going up in the first place. It's not competitive where uh, hazards are ubiquitous. So yeah, bug flying, very underrated type combo. It also has that four times of grass resist, which I mean, uh, Scizor also resists grass, so it's not that impressive, but it's just good. It's good. Good combo. 
uh, gets a lot of ha hate for no reason. It's actually a very underrated type combo defensively, um, and especially in an in-game context. And offensively, it's fine. I mean, he has tons of coverage anyway. Um, speaking of that coverage, so sharpness. Uh, so, so number one, I made Scyther way faster. However, the other two have access to um, uh, Unburden and Weak Armor to boost their speed. Uh, meanwhile, Scyther has speed boost. So 125 base speed is already very, very fast. But keep in mind, you're only getting a plus speed nature 20% of the time. Uh, and you're only getting 20 speed IVs on your Pokemon. So Scyther at most is hitting 338, which I mean, this is level 100. I'm just doing calculations right now. Um, you're hitting like... Not even 105. You're only outspeeding base anything below base 105. You outspeed unless you get a lucky plus speed nature scyther, then you're going crazy. Um, but if you don't get plus speed nature, you're only outspeeding base 104 and 105 and 104 and below, right? So if you want to be faster, you have to use priority, of which you have plenty of strong priority moves, or you have to use uh, choice scarf, which is good with technician and sharpness, or you have to use speed boost. So speed boost isn't as broken as you might think. It, it both is and isn't. So it's not broken in the regard that. You can't get a free turn as easily anymore because Protect is heavily uh, reworked uh, and limited. Um, if you're curious as to why that is, you can pause the video and read this. Um, scroll down a bit so you can read the second part. So yeah, um, that's the explanation for why Protect is the way, uh, changed the way it is or limited the way it is. So to get a speed boost, you can't even switch in, right? For example, stuff like Quick Feed, you have to switch. You can switch in once and then just get the speed uh, get the speed boost uh, on the turn you switch in because your orb triggers. That's not how speed boost works. Speed boost only works on a full turn of staying in. So you have to either one shot something or you know be a bulky roost type of set to, to rack up your speed boost. You know, or you can click like Swords Dance or whatever the hell you want um, and go from there. That's obviously an end game move. You know, in the mid 50s you get access to Swords Dance TM, but but you get the idea. Um, speed boost is especially overpowered, but well, all three of its abilities are really good with finishing blow. Um, and again, the fact that Scyther has strong multi-hit moves of both stab and many other types. So, Technician Bug Biting. Bug Biting is essentially... It's like a bug type double hit, I guess, is a good way to put it. Um, so that's 105 base power with uh, with a uh, Technician without before stab. So that's very strong. Dual Wing Beat I already covered is even stronger than that. Um, and then you've also got some other multi-hit moves like Fury Swipes and Pummel, which are good with Loaded Dice. Um, just for dark and fighting moves there, although you already have Night Slash with Sharpness, which is, uh, you know, and Technician Knockoff and other stuff. Um, Technician Boosted Knockoff, it's 60, it's 55 power now, so that's 120, can I do math? 55, 12.5, 12.5. Uh, 122 base power-ish? Can I do math? 55 times 2.25. Yeah, 124 base power. So um, that's a nice, strong dark option. Uh, I would say a lot of cool Terra types you could pull on Scyther. Uh, any Terra type is good, obviously, because you have Terra Blast at the end of the day. But if you got, like, if you RNG, like, Terra Steel or Terra Psychic or Grass or Poison or Dark or, or Fighting, Fighting especially for that with that Sacred Slash at 45, all of those would be so, so strong and cool. Um, and yeah, as for your priority, so you've got uh, Aerial Ace and Creeping Strike, which are now priority moves. So it's not only... Scizor, who has the priority stuff going on now. Now uh, Scyther can do it as well, although obviously, you know, Steel, Bullet Punch versus Flying Aerial Ace is a different stab combo there. They both are very good, um, and obviously Scizor is much bulkier and has, you know, a different defensive properties than Scyther, which I'll cover in Scizor's video. But the main thing that all three of them can really do for fun is first impression. Maybe I should just do these all in one video. Whatever, it's already too late. I don't feel like re-recording. <laughs> I'll just, yeah. So yeah, uh, first impression, 135 power, very, very strong TM. You can slap it on whenever you need it. Um, X's are very strong. Uh, I kind of regret making it level up because it's going to open up the can of worms of making other TM's level up moves, which I typically don't do. But their level up move pool was already so empty anyways. And I was like, you know, fuck it, I may as well throw it on there. Even though it's, it's literally useless, right? Because the TM for X's are, uh, is obtained between level 31 and 36. So it's literally useless to have the level 35. I mean, I guess for that one game path where you don't get it till 36, it's technically useful. But yeah, it's just there for flavor. I, I kind of... I might even delete it after this video, I don't know, who cares? Um, doesn't matter, doesn't affect anything. Uh, Trailblaze is very strong with Technician, uh, but yeah, s Sharpness Boosted Options is x Scissor, which is... So, x Scissor, Laceration, Cycle Cut, Leaf Blade, uh, all of those require Scope Lens and are 120 power with Sharpness, 180 base power if you hold Scope Lens. So, you can just slap on a Choice Scarf and just click, you know, 120 power x Scissor, no drawback, and then you have your coverage, uh, your Steel... Um, steel, Psychic, Grass dark and poison coverage uh, and then you've also got sacred slash which is a guaranteed crit um, so you don't even have to hold scope lens but it is weaker uh, than scope lens but you can hold a boosting item so it doesn't actually that much weaker but you get the idea sacred slash cool move um, 135 power with sharpness 
and I already covered Dueling Beat with Technician, and then Brutal Blade is uh, Steel Tip Wicked Blow. You can't click it twice in a row, so you can't spam like Choice Scarf Brutal Blade, but it's uh, stronger than Laceration because it's a guaranteed crit, unlike Laceration. Um, so in terms of raw base power, it's 180 with Sharpness. And then you got Finishing Blow, which gives you plus three attack if you get a KO, which is incredibly overpowered with all three of its abilities, but I couldn't bring it in. I didn't have it in me to not give it access to Finishing Blow, despite the fact, I mean, it's just cool. I love bugs. It's whatever. If you want to fucking be lame and sweep the end game, you know, the Elite Four or whatever the fuck, if you want to try to pull off a Finishing Blow sweep, you can. Uh, Scyther, at the very least, is still stopped by Quick Claw, but as I'll cover in the Scissor video, he actually gets the cheese Quick Claw. So, yeah. Uh, Overall, solid. I mean, it's tanky as well. You can run it defensively. You know, you've got Battle Cry and Roost and U Turn and Taunt and all this other utility stuff you can take advantage of. And 80 80 80 bulk might seem underwhelming, but when you factor in a Violet and the fact that you can just invest in your bulk when you need defense, is it's actually really, very tanky with a Violet. So, yeah, Scythe is really cool. Um, yeah, let me know if you made it to the end of the video. And I, I, I haven't even covered the flavor of it, but I don't think I need to explain why Speed Boost makes sense on Scythe. It's entire Pokedex talk about how it moves so fast you can't fucking see it, right? So. Uh, yeah um and sharpness obviously makes sense so uh yeah thank you for listening if you made it to the end shout out to you uh and make sure you check out the other videos after this one peace y'all